We are always trying out new ways to make weeknight dinners quick, easy, but most importantly, friggin' delicious. Try this pork chop recipe with cherry tomatoes and butter sauce. This dinner is just eight ingredients and serves four people. Feel free to double, triple, or reduce the recipe to fit how many are in your household. Here's what you're gonna need. Three cloves of garlic chopped up, two to three sprigs of fresh thyme, four tablespoons of butter, four bone-in thick pork chops, you want the thick ones, salt and pepper, two pounds of cherry tomatoes and oil. That's it. Now I'd recommend using your grill for this recipe, but if you don't have one, you can absolutely cook this entire meal on your stove. Start by heating up your grill. I just cranked this gas grill all the way up and let it get as hot as possible. In this instance, 700 degrees Fahrenheit is great. While those are preheating, chop up your garlic and just toss it in a bowl with your butter and fresh thyme. Season all of your pork chops liberally on both sides with salt and pepper. Now, if you're using a grill, I like to take all of my washed cherry tomatoes and toss them into a small cast iron skillet, drizzle them with oil, and then dust them with salt and pepper. Then I cover the whole thing with aluminum foil. If you don't have a cast iron pan, just use a double layer of tin foil and wrap everything up inside the foil. Now let's get to the grill. Toss your cast iron full of cherry tomatoes or your tin foil wrapped cherry tomatoes on one side of the grill and go ahead and put your pork chops right on the grill and get them sizzling. I like to leave the grill top open for this recipe because I leave the burners on high. You do you. Every once in a while on your grill, just shake your cast iron or your tin foil wrapped tomatoes just to kind of shake them up. Cook the pork chops four to five minutes per side or until the internal temperature reaches 140 degrees Fahrenheit. If you like your pork chops a little bit more well done, just cook them a little bit longer to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. After your first flip of your pork chops, add a pot to your side burner on low if your grill has one. If not, add a pot to your stove on low and toss in the butter, garlic, and thyme. Melt that butter and stir the garlic and thyme occasionally. Remove your pork chops from the grill when they're done and let them rest on a cutting board for about five minutes. This is going to let the internal temperature of your pork chops rise to a perfect medium or to a perfect well done if that's how you like them. Plate your pork chops and then top them with a healthy scoop of those tomatoes and then top everything with the butter mixture. Good lord, that is delicious. And best of all, it takes less than 20 minutes from start to finish. Hey, let me know if you're going to give this simple recipe a try and feel free to save this video. Comment down below what you think and feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate you and you can check out another no bullshit recipe right here.